In this video, we're going to take this Hulk Hogan action figure 3 pack and be transforming all three figures completely. But before we do that, I do have to drive over to my local Target and see if they actually have one for us to customize. Now being honest, I already have this Hogan 3 pack, but I didn't want to use my own original one. I wanted to pick up an extra one to customize so that I'll now have a customized set and a regular release set from Mattel. Now entering Target, I had no idea what would be on the shelves, and lo and behold, I had no idea if we'd actually find a 3 pack. But by God, Brad, the wrestling action figure gods blessed me with one and we actually secured one as we walked on the aisle. And this was an absolute W. And now the video can continue. So after the goods were secured, it was only one thing left to do, and that was to travel home to customize this set. All right, man, here we are back home after the toy hunt. After picking up the new WWE Elite 3-pack 40th anniversary Hulkamania set featuring all three versions of Hulk Hogan here, of course, there are many other versions, but we do have our 3-pack here. Now today, we're going to be fixing these up. We're going to go over here where I do have multiple versions of Hulk Hogan. So we have the 3-pack here. We're going to be upgrading all three of these figures today very excited to do so sort of an action figure surgery type deal but we do have the fan takeover ultimate edition hulk hogan we have the ultimate edition series 13 hulk hogan we have a couple loose figures we have the wrestlemania elite here and then we have an extra elite 91 over here so basically we're going to be taking different parts of these figures combining with our three pack and then i'm also probably going to have to dive into my own hulk hogan figure collection over here on display and we're going to take some different parts and stuff like that and again upgrade them i say upgrade because i already have them you guys can see i have the one here i have the second figure there and then there there's the third, the trifecta, to complete the three-pack. So since I already have the three-pack, why not grab some extra versions and upgrade them to put them into the display right here? Now, what's awesome about the figures we make today is you're actually going to have an opportunity to own the figures that we create in this video today. So if you're interested in something like that, man, stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how you can actually own the figures featured in this video and also some other things from my collection. All right, man, so here's all our figures out of the packaging. We got our three-pack over here that we're going to be fixing up here today, and then we have the rest of our figures over here. And so the goal for today is to transform all three of these action figures over here of Hulk Hogan and bring them into a new light and bring them into a brand new figure, transform them completely. And what's awesome about that is the figures that we make here today are actually going to be available for purchase in a way, and we'll get into that later in the video. So let's talk about what we're going to do first, and then we're going to dive into actual surgery, right, like we always do here. But the first figure we have up, man, is this version of Hulk Hogan. This is the one on the far left here. Basically going to turn this into an American-made Hulk Hogan. We're going to switch the head sculpt out with this Ultimate Edition head sculpt right here. We're going to also remove the shirt. I'm going to actually also add the necklace right here. And then lastly, we're going to switch the knee pads with these white knee pads. So we're going to completely make like an American-made version. Now, I do know that I think the trunks are supposed to be slightly darker than the light blue here, but I still think it's going to make for a really cool figure, and, and I'll actually have this extra. I call this like the fruit roll-up head sculpt. I mean, it looks like he's eating a fruit roll-up, even though I know it's the bandana. Yeah, I think that'll make for a pretty cool figure. We have that one right there. That's the simplest of the ones. The next one is pretty damn complicated. Next up is this Hulk Hogan, the Hollywood Hogan here, and I just noticed it when I removed it out of the packaging. You will notice his daggum hand is backwards, man. Look at this right here. He has two left hands, so that kind of screws me up, but this is where it comes in. So this is the Hogan that we're trying to make right here, and you guys will see we have to do a few different things. He already has the shirt. We got to switch out his tights. We got to switch out his boots. I may have to do something to the crotch piece because it's got lightning bolt designs on it. But for the hands, I want the white gloves for the Hulk Hogan. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use this ringside exclusive Hulk Hogan for the legs. This is the tie-dye black and white legs. We're going to put those over here. We're going to remove the hands. We're going to use the glasses from this Hogan over here because he had white glasses instead of the silver that this figure comes with. And then for the hands, I have like a couple different things, man. They don't really make a white glove mold. Like they do, but they are not going to work, right? Like you have the Ray Mysterio mold, those aren't going to work. I played around with some stuff. I had some AEW Jazzwares Penta gloves that I was going to use and then just paint the fingertips, but I'll show you what that looks like. You guys can tell me if that's worth a dang. So when you put that in there, it, it looks cool, but I feel like his arms look too long now. Am I wrong about that? His arm just looks way too long because of the bulge of the peg. And so I would just paint this right here, but then you're going to have the black peg sticking out. It's a whole thing. And he on the white gloves, you'll notice that he didn't even have the holes on the back of the hands. So with all that being said, so I think figure why not take some white wrist tape hands and we'll paint the fingers and make sure these look completely white and then just put those in there and just live with it man i think that's probably going to be our best case scenario now the only thing that sucks is i'm going to have to match the skin tone of this hulk hogan back here man but after we do all those things we do also have to put our wrestlemania 18 hulk hogan white boots over here with the tights from this ringside exclusive so we're going to be combining a bunch of hulk hogan's here today on action figure surgery or this specific tutorial video and last but not least we do have our hulk still rules and this one's relatively simple man 
man. We're basically going to pretty much convert this into a red variant. You guys can see he has yellow boots. We're going to take the Elite 91 Hogan. We're going to pop the red boots off of here. We're going to pop the knee brace off of here. Put those over here. Take all the shirts off and stuff like that. We're going to keep this bandana, I think, but we're going to switch the shirt out for the red Hulkamania shirt. And then we're going to put the red sunglasses right here from this Hogan. And we're going to keep the Hulk Still Rules headband, I think. Or bandana, I should say. My bad. Instead of the red. We'll, we'll play around with it and look. But let's get started on some surgery. Should be relatively simple, but let's dive into it. So I guess our first order of business is going to be getting this head sculpt off right here. And luckily, modern Mattel WWE figures just pop off like that. So that's easy money. We got to remove this damn shirt right here. And it has no Velcro. And they usually come off easier than they go back on. Is what I've found in my experience. As I struggle mightily. Alright, well, whatever figure this shirt goes on in the future, never coming off again, man. You can get the hell out of here. But alright, man. What we have to do first is we're going to take our extra head sculpt right here. We're going to, I mean, typically... I usually heat up multiple things at once, but I kind of I kind of want to go figure by figure. You know what I mean? Rebuilding each one. Yep, I can't do it. Sorry about that. Let's move all this gear over here. We're going to heat up the boots of this Hogan. We're going to undress this Hogan. That sounds weird. We're going to remove the boots from here. And there's no Velcro on this shirt either. Another shirt that'll never come off again. Never, never going back off again. All right, man, got to heat up the boots of this Hogan. We need to heat up the crotch of this Hogan, so another Hogan undressed. God, I got to stop saying it that way. Luckily, it's a shirt that comes off easy. We're going to lay them right there to heat up the inner legs right here because he's on ball joints. Another day, another Hogan to take all the accessories off of. And then we gotta heat up the boots of this Hogan. And I mean, what's another pair of boots, right? I mean, we have to heat up these boots too, but I feel like if we heat it up long enough, it'll be fine. So, now we're gonna lay these strategically, and I guess we can lay them um, somewhat like... I, I honestly, I don't expect this to go smoothly, but like we always say, man, you gotta risk it to get the biscuit, and we gotta heat this up and whatnot. And speaking of whatnot... Saturday, March 2nd. 7 p.m. Central Time. I will be doing my first live show on Whatnot. What is Whatnot, you ask? Try to think of it like eBay and Twitch fused together. Live streaming, online shopping, all in one. Go use my invite link in the description, download the app, and receive $10 off your first purchase. Also, be sure to bookmark my show for Saturday because not only will you have a chance to own the figures from this video, I'm also giving away a Mattel Creations exclusive Ultimate Edition Attitude Era ring complete with the Ultimate Edition cane. On top of this, there will be many other WWE figures, action figure belts, and other the things in store for the stream. So download Whatnot today using my link below. Now let's get back to our Hulk Hogan figures. Alright man, let's see if this is indeed hot enough. Again, I don't expect too much, man, but you never know here. So all we have to do really is pop that boot off and slide this knee brace off of this first Hogan. And time is of the essence when you're doing videos like this or when you're doing swaps like that because you guys know as well as I do that every second is precious when you're heating up these figures because if the figure gets too uh, cold or room temp or what have you, then you will run out of time. And if you run out of time, Brad, that's all she wrote. You'll have to reheat it. And that's certainly not something that we want to do here today. But we're making pretty good time right here, man. Popping that off of that, that over there. We do need to pop these onto here, but I feel like I should probably wait because we do need to do some designs onto this crotch piece over here that we're working with on this Hogan. But we do have to pop these boots off like that and then like that. Oh, this boot's not even close to hot. <sighs> okay, well, we can at least do the other one, I guess. This boot should pop in here like that, just like so. Looks wonderful. Terrific. And this one again, not even close. That pisses me off. All right, go to the next one and pop the yellow boots off here, yellow boot off there. Need to pop this knee brace on right here. And I do believe the version of Hulk Hogan that this is creating right here. The other two are not, I don't know the specific event, but I do believe this version right here is SummerSlam 2005 when he took on Shawn Michaels, if I'm not mistaken. So you guys will be able to own this. So that's an opportunity for you right there. Pair it with your SummerSlam Elite Shawn Michaels right there if you want to do that. That'll be up to you though. But of of course, go join so you guys will have an opportunity, but there is what we wanted to do with that Hogan. I don't think we have to heat up anything else on that Hogan. This up here. This actually is really easy because all we have to do is pop the blue boots off and then pop on the white knee pads. So we got to pop these red knee pads off real quick. Sometimes this can be super challenging. And Hulk Hogan got them damn old man legs, man. A little bit thickums down here. Let's get that off and then we're going to pop the white one on. And then I can slide the boot right back on, man, because that's all we're doing. It's a simple, it's a very simple fix-up, but I think it's going to look very clean. Oh my god, these thick legs. 
Oh, Lord have mercy. Oh man, I feel like we're running out of heat. Hopefully not. All right, there's that boot. Is that on there good? I guess it's on there good enough. We gotta get this boot off. Oh my gracious, for the love of Liza. And then get this knee pad on here. I do believe I put them on the right sides, man. If I didn't, well, <laughs> I guess we're screwed. Oh my God in heaven. Please. This is a full-fledged workout. I'm literally sweating. It's so hot. Mercifully, we got it. And now we put the boot on there like that. All right. Got the first Hogan all but completed, but... We're going to throw the necklace on there, and then you guys will see what that looks like at the end of the video. All right, Hogan number one complete. Now we got to get this one. I actually forgot to mention, we were going to take the Ultimate Edition Fan Takeover Hogan right here, and I was going to put the yellow wristbands on here. So this is a whole nother step that I wanted to add here, because this is more accurate and completes the look. So we're, we're using all kinds of Degum Hogans over here today, man. Pop that over there. Putting that back in there. Coming over here, doing the same thing on this side. There we go, man. Look at that. Got a brand new figure. All right, so now we need to pop on the Hulkamania red shirt. Doing that like so. Popping that in there. There we go. You guys will see Hogan number two at the end of the video, along with the American Made Hogan. And all right, man, last but not least, we have our last Hogan right here, man. This is not completed. These boots need to switch. I don't know. Like, when this pops on to here, it's not going to be accurate, but I guess go ahead and key the time lapse, and we'll remove these logos, add a little bit of white paint, get our hands ready. We're going to put this boot over here, remove these designs over here, add some white paint, fix the hands, and I'll see you guys at the end of the video. All right, man, so the first step was taking my clear nail polish remover and removing the designs off the tights. Now, regular acetone or 100% acetone will not work on crotch pieces from Mattel. You do have to use nail polish remover. So that is what I'm doing here. You simply just wipe it on there and then use a good cloth. Kind of got messed up on this one because I used a terrible rag. But after that, I took my Citadel Air White Scar paint and then I just followed the design on my foam and just hand painted it the best I could. I'm not the best artist of all time, but I like to think I can get some simple jobs such as this done pretty decently and I've never painted tie-dye before but I tried my hand at it and I couldn't get every single clip but I did do my best to try and get everything for you guys but this was sort of a challenge for me to capture this on film but at the end of the day I guess I was pretty happy with the paint job that I did here but then it was time to paint the hands so I mixed together these two paints right here and it was a challenge, man. This was a definite challenge trying to paint these hands. I just did not like the way the consistency of the paint came out. And then I, it was pretty much impossible to color match the skin tone that I was working with here. And so that was also a challenge for me. So I ended up abandoning this method. And I actually ended up just painting the hands that came on this three-pack Hogan. Or it also came, the same hands that came with the Ringside Exclusive Wolfpack NWO Hulk Hogan. All right, man, so here we are. Here are the customs completed, man. I can be real here. I ran into some different issues. We're going to break those issues down right now. So I guess we could say, let's go left to right, you know, just to, or I'll go like the easiest to the hardest, I guess you could say. But starting off first, so I'll start things off with our American made Hulk Hogan, man. This turned out really clean. I'm actually pretty proud of the way this came out. Very similar to the San Diego Comic Con Ultimate Edition, but it's slightly different because the blues are different, man. This is a lighter blue, or at least I think it's a lighter blue. And my eyes may be tr playing tricks on me but I could have swore the trunks were darker than the boots or like I thought they were the same color but now that when I look at them the boots look lighter for some reason but the necklace with this head sculpt and the headband and everything looks really really clean with the white on white I like that a lot that American made right there is very clean and again it will be available on our whatnot stream so tune in man go sign up at the link in the description below should also be in the pinned comment man so definitely look for that next up we have the middle right here man and this one turned out pretty damn good I'm pretty excited for it now I did run into some snags and I'm sorry I didn't get all of the time lapse in there of all the painting and stuff but you guys will notice I did end up painting the fingerless gloves from the three pack Hogan and or I mean yes yeah, the three pack Hogan hands but it's these hands I just painted them white and I did paint over the holes on the back because like I said there were no holes on the gloves that Hulk Hogan was wearing but I put the shirt back on there I did paint the crotch right there it looks okay like the crotch looks more realistic obviously than what Mattel did but I think it blends in pretty well you guys can let me know what you think of that I think it, uh, it looks okay I'm 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 decent Decently proud, you know? It's not perfect, but I think it gets the job done. But these boots are very clean. Some of my favorite wrestling boots of all time. Then you throw in the white glasses and the white gloves. And yes, I know the pegs are black. If they were white pegs, it would be perfect. Unfortunately, couldn't do that. I ran into it, so I tried painting these hands over here, man. And they just, it just didn't look right. I couldn't get the skin tone to match. And so to avoid that problem, the paint was too clumpy. I just ran into some issues there, so I went ahead and went with this. But I think this looks pretty damn good in itself. This is definitely my favorite Hogan that is here, man. This 
this right here is clean. I really enjoy the middle Hogan. And then the last Hogan we have, guys, is the fix-up of the Hulk Steel Rules or the Elite 91, pretty much. It's a revamp. We have the Ultimate Edition fan takeover armbands. You got the weight belt in there. Hulkamania shirt. All the red and yellow really just contrasts really well in this figure, and it's a huge upgrade from the original Elite 91, which we do have over here. You know, the skin tone wasn't right. The torso wasn't right. Just a lot of dumb things going on with this figure over here, but we did fix it up, you know, and got some cool stuff going on. But yeah, we do have this completed mixed up Hogan right here, man. And again, all three of these figures will be available on our Whatnot stream that is going to be this Saturday, man. So definitely come by, swing by, click the link. Dude, it's, I do believe you get a free $10 coupon as well when you sign up. You bookmark the stream, have it ready to go. Going to have a lot of items on there for sale. And all three of these Hogans individually will be up for sale. So you guys can go over there. I plan on having some belts over there, some other figures. Working on a giveaway as well. But I think that is pretty much going to wrap the video up, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know all of your thoughts on our Hogan's down in the comment section below. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Appreciate all those fellas over there. Thank you guys so very much for all of your continued support here on the channel, of course. I'm getting out of here, man. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later. <laughs>